Could you ever imagine wearing the same clothes for a week straight? What about two? What would your friends think about you and say? How about if it wasn't just a choice, but it was something that you were forced to deal with? This is just one of the struggles Michael Orr has to deal with before he was given a chance at Briarcrest High School, and it, is, it was illustrated throughout the book The Blind Side by Michael Lewis. Other works that have been written by Lewis include Liar's Poker and Moneyball. Lewis tells the story as it truly happened while easily keeping you interested throughout the entirety of it. The main topic of this book is showing how even if you are dealt a bad hand, you can turn it around to make something good out of it. This book is written to inform readers of this inspirational story about this particular football player. Lewis does this by enhancing the book with many personal stories from the family and recalling them as they happened, using imagery. The Blind Side is a story that follows Michael Orr, a poor black teen who is guided into playing sports and with a little help was turned into an unbelievable football player. But Orr wasn't just amazing from the very beginning. Before Michael attended Bradcrest Christian High School, he was wandering in no particular direction. He hardly attended high school until Bradcrest decided to give him a chance. Apart from his scary size, Michael was quite the opposite on the inside. He was very shy and hardly ever spoke to anyone. That is, until Leon and Sean Tui came into the picture. Sean was a millionaire who helped students like Michael succeed in Briarcrest, and Leanne was, a wi was the wife who grew a special bond with Michael. The Tuies fed, dressed, and gave Michael a home. He was able to make it through high school with their help and was discovered as an athletic prodigy. Lewis follows Ora's story showing how the kindness and caring of a family was able to turn a bleak future into a promising one. This book was written well because it was something that is very easy to comprehend and understand. It can appeal to a variety of people, both men and women. It can still be a book that you could be interested, interested in, even if you are not a sports fan, because that is not the only element of this story. This is one of the things I enjoyed most of the book, because even though I enjoy sports, I didn't need to be the biggest sports fan to enjoy this. Lewis went about achieving this by including the sporting event aspect of the story along with the family aspects of it. As Michael spent more time with the Tui family, it showed that he was becoming more comfortable with things, just as simple as talking. Leanne said so herself that as time went on, Michael was a lot more talkative and a bit more sure of himself. He grew more comfortable accepting material things without denying them like how he would have used to. Lewis was trying to prove to the reader that being successful may take a lot of hard work, but everyone is capable of getting there. He shows this simply by telling Orr's, Orr's success story. This is shown in places where you see Michael's success, like where he is able to graduate from high school with his football scholarship and where he later, later goes on to play for the NFL. The imagery in the story also enhances the characters. Leanne would storm onto the field if Michael wasn't ever cooperating, like when he cut his hand and wouldn't let anyone on the team see it, not even the coaches. She told him that he would have to show him his hurt hand or she would, quote-unquote, smack him upside the head with it. This instance shows that Leanne still has love and compassion for Michael, even if it, it is shown in a way not typical to other people. This was effective in the story because Leanne's little reminders of her love for Michael are placed throughout the book. This book compares well to others of its subject on many different levels. Like I said before, it's not a book where you need to be all wrapped up into the sp what's happening with the sports, but there is still plenty to entertain someone who wants that. What I also really enjoyed in this book was the fact that even though it looked like it, Michael was not an amazing football player from the beginning. It was something that even he had to work at so he could get better. Coaches from Briarcrest would describe him, describe him as big, but not aggressive enough. Even though Michael looked big and tough, he really didn't want to hurt anybody. He didn't fit the stereotype that everyone who comes from a bad background has to have a bad ab attitude. That was a refreshing change to this story that you don't always see too often anymore. Lewis illustrates how it is possible for almost anybody to be able to make it somewhere as long as you are willing to try hard enough. When you don't have too much in your life, accepting help from people can sometimes be hard. But once you realize you are better off with it, 
it can really do a lot for you. And helping someone, not because it will make you look better, but because you know it is a genu- genuinely the right thing to do, can make you feel like a much better person. Michael Orr's story shows you that when you bring something together, like an amazing talent and compassionate people, it can really give you something special.